Oh, we like tested it in the. We were trying to get one to float. part where I complain about T handles. What's the complaint? No, I just don't like T handles. I usually don't get lucky and get them all lined up in the little <laughs> yeah. T handle jar. Hard to complain when you do it first try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I usually have to struggle with them. Okay, you want to open the box a little bit. It's an old design, obviously, but I think considering that the weight is so kind of far from the handle, to prevent rotation, it seems to work pretty well. Yeah, it is a very old design. I was using these ages ago. One of my very first cruises we had that. I should remember her name. A character that ran the uh, contraption that processes the gas out of them. Freeze fail. So did you have the contraption on board? Oh yeah, yeah. They bring that thing in and strap it against the wall in the lab. Wow. I guess that lets you sort of take samples and then reuse them on the same cruise. So yeah. if you want to do lots of these, you can sort of exactly bottle them up yeah she would process the samples out of them and, and uh, re-vacuum them for the only two people i know who handle these samples are marv lily and tamara at oregon yeah i don't know if tamara does it she had uh is that the girl's name that does it now marv I'm going to be uh, close enough to trigger this with the... We'll find out. I think so, yeah. Makes me wonder if we could print a, uh, a locker on that with a lanyard so that we can pull to, cause it, to trigger it. Yeah. We've redesigned these things several times. <laughs> I haven't heard of the rocker lanyard thing, though. What's, how's that going to work? I'll watch out for that porch. about that. Should have left this thing out where it was. But then you got seven different functions to choose from. No doubt. Jake off because that would be not happy. I wonder what those hair hair things are. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, Chia I think they're bacterial mats.
looks kind of boogerish to me, though. I'm going to zoom in there a bit for us, Pete. That's good, thanks. This one I can actually cheat and use the craft to. Yeah, that's right. This is a training straight? wheels gas tight. Yeah. <laughs> it's not cheating if it works. Well, if you don't knock the hat off. So that's pressed all yeah, right. I think so. So this one is known for closing slowly. So let's uh, take minute. the magnum away and let the plunger release uh, while keeping this in the in the uh, in the hat. Right. Well, this, I'm going to move the craft and get it off the magnum there because we're we'll push it back into the hat. You want to? Unplunger, is that what you're saying? Yes, please. It's the white, long-haired stuff, Megan. I think it's bacterial mats. Yeah, but it's it sound like Megan. I, I <laughs> concur with, with the, that <laughs> assessment. Well, I, well, we were here earlier. And yeah. That's what um, Fabio said. Oh, yeah. But I've never seen it. I don't remember seeing it long, stringy like that. Oh yeah, they, they grow in all sorts of different ways, but like these vent ones are really fluffy. Fluffy, that's the word yeah. I wanted. Yeah. Find me my kitty cat. It, it does kind of look like... Okay, I can pull this thing out of here now. Long, fluffy. Yes, hair. confirmed. You can pull it out and you can stow it in the toolbox. <gasps> Ooh. We'll mark that. Danger, danger. Octopus speed, Dan. Mm -hmm. Are we going to shoot the other one here? Okay, no. it can go wide. We're not going to shoot the other one here. Um, da, da, da. Raspy, yes. Gas tight. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, pinned up against that little <sighs> lip. Heart skipped the beat. Yeah. Uh-uh. <sighs> 
Okay, our next task is going to be to take a gas tight at Hulk. Hulk, sweet. Do you, know where, do you know where Hulk is? 120 meters north. Pretty feet. much. Something, something like that. That's what I was. That's what I heard earlier. Something like 100 meters northeast or something. Yeah. <coughs> uh, head north here. I don't think I have a Hulk on my map. I have a Hulk. Yeah. I <coughs> is it green? The interweb has Hulk. Steve is requesting a survey of the RAS PPS site, so maybe we'll just get a good look at it for him Joe on our way out. TP All right, yeah. We've taken locations. Oh, found it. It's off the map. <laughs> yeah, it's way up, up to the north. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's so quite a ways. Do you want to come off bottom for that? No. All right. Would we calculate before 0.3 knots take uh, 10 minutes? 10 minutes. Okay. <coughs> well, ship time 10 minutes. Yeah. We give Steve a good survey here. Balanced on a marble again, Steve. <laughs> Don't know. Do we think there's any chance we could get that weight closer to the hat without messing up our bars and all that? <laughs> <laughs> Playing with fire, I think. Yeah, I think so too. <coughs> then we have to do the survey all over again. What is that little ball? It's tiny, whatever it is. How's the uh, go? Look at the droop in the cable there, see how... Let's look. Which the problem cable, is which the... Which cable are you talking about? The one from the hat to the yeah. RAS. The problem is, so the RAS will... Distracted. Distracted. Oh, uh, sorry, I was thinking. The problem is that damn cable wrapped around there. We moved the weight. I gotta move the connector too. Yeah, which is fine. If we treat the two as a as a bundled package, yeah. we're okay. It's just now we're kind of tied up in the bars, and that's a whole that whole thing's a slope, anyways. It is, yeah. So I'm not even sure the weight will stay. Let's just get a little look at it. If you come around to your left. Give a sense of what the hell like is the there. Like the only thing I can think of is if we could somehow land it there. Yeah, but that's like higher up, right? So the grass oh, is yeah. lift up. Yeah, that's true. It's probably no better. Yeah, so anywhere to the left is going to be mm -hmm. higher. Yeah, and then it's going to be just as taut and vertical. Yep. Dan, and Steve wants to know your opinion off. on whether that hat will stay. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how fast the uh, animals grow up and fuse themselves to it. <laughs> <laughs> back, back at you, Steve. Oh, I feel like it's got a little, um, so, uh, see that on the end? It's holding it on there. Yeah, but you know that's paper thin. It's going to break off. Oh, no, no, that's, that's, rock. that's rock. Yeah, it was rock. It was in there pretty good. I gave a you know, pretty good tap with the manip. So. Yeah. Well, I think that's the best we can do without messing it all up again. We have a sense of the black cable up to the... The catenary in it. Yeah, or lack of catenary. Yeah. It's got a little droopy action there. It's not like it's guitar string tight. I don't know if there's anything on the RAS itself we can do to get in more slack. Maybe it's caught up on something on there or something. I don't know. Mm, no, 
That's that's it. Yeah, it's using its strain relief. I'm floating. Yeah, it's not, you know, tight. It's got some waves in it there, so. Never put a hat on top of a flange pole before. Now it's very fashionable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at that isopod. What's it doing up here? Yeah, they have those long legs for something. It's just, I don't know, floating right now. <laughs> it's kind of, the hat's kind of wedged behind a rock, too. It's got a little stopper. Yeah. Those floats have a lot of like flotation in them, even though the whole thing is neutrally buoyant. It should be a pretty taut line. I don't think it's going, it's not going to lay down very much. Is it okay that it's twisted like that? Yeah, I think so. Once we unplug it, uh, the weights and the connector can be untangled or they can go up together. <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Make a mess. That's Deal with it later. Later. Future us. Future us. Do we have weights with a carabiner? Yeah, the weights with the carabiner were uh, where we landed it. No. Th those are the recovery weights. Can you fly with them? Uh, yeah, probably. But they had a longer... Uh, were they longer or shorter? I forget. They did the same. They landed like, right no. next to each other. If they go to the pairing, they'll just be the same length, eh? Well, I don't know how long the beaner is. They were on a shackle. We undid the shackle. Half the shackle's in our box. The other half's in the rock somewhere. What was the shackle to? So the, the other weights, the deployment weights, had a a rope and a shackle to this same place this rope is shackled into. Right. But the beaner is right up against the weights? The beaner is tie wrapped to the weights for recovery, yeah. How long is the rope on the beaner? Do you have a sense for that? Uh, longer than the rope on the weights. Okay. Yeah. But it's meant to, you know, be able to un un get it and fly it up with the basically can the, we, can the we look in the front toolbox to see if we have that double beaner with the cinch strap in between them we have that in the starboard box is where we went off the deck with it I thought it was on the porch no, we stuck it in the starboard box. There was one that was on the porch that came loose, and we put it back in the toolbox. Oh, that was yeah. a Gladys. That, that was a Gladys. Oh, that's a Gladius. You're right, you're right. That is. Um, if we had a double beaner, do you think we could pull the RAS lower and clip it? Into the weights? Into the shorten weights the rope. to shorten the rope, exactly. There was a double beaner attached when we dove in the bio box. Uh, it was hanging on the rail on the in the bio box. I do not know if it was used earlier in the cruise, uh, in the dive or not. It's, uh, it's not very long. It's only like not even a meter long. Yeah, it was only... I mean, I don't think that's a problem on our end to have the RAS that low. Hook it in that shackle down, hook it on the weight. Can, I mean, can you pull down on the RAS with the sub? Oh, yeah. Even now, I guess, now that the jewelry's off it, it's still probably not that buoyant. I mean, could go get those other weights and just drop them off the edge. 
Well, we we flew it up here, so I imagine we could, you know, fly it back down. I barely. But that was with all the weight, so uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I we mean. could pull those buoys down or not. Do you want to give them a test pull? Uh, we could, I guess. Well, should we see if we can but even get the carabiners out? Because there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. If we, uh, the box. yeah, we'd have to maybe go stage all that stuff somewhere. There, uh, they should be, they were hooked. They're not anymore, you can see right there. Uh, I guess my concern is if we try and pull down on the floats and then that thing comes back up, it was so, um, yeah, it'll, it's inertia will like lift it off. Yeah. And then we'll yeah. pull the, pull the, uh, pull the hat. Yeah, and then we'll have to redo the hat. I think it looks all right there. Yeah, it's definitely got some play. I just don't have a sense for how much this, flo like the float, is going to wander in the currents. Yeah. If that beano is short enough, could you go from that D-link to the shackle and just shorten that middle section? Yeah, but doing mid-water rigging like that, yeah. it's going to be... Temperamental. With the floaty, twisty thing. If this cable is just like a few feet longer. Well, the... The rope is underneath is a little bit long, right? Yeah. Just reach in with your manipulator and just start spinning it until they come together. <laughs> and then click, flip. Yeah, I, I think if we try and mess with shortening it, we it's so easy to lift that thing and if we lift the weights off and I mean it's not the end of the world if it's not the end of the world if we have to redo the hat. I agree it's time, but if we if, if we, we if we, we redo the hat, do we have to redo the gas tights and the temp probe and uh, probably. But if we leave this and the hat gets pulled off, then the whole thing's for naught. So we have to weigh that, that risk. Yeah, that's above my pay grade. Um, another suggestion is to go get a bead bag and the beaner, and then you clip the bead bag on, and that will pull the rasp down. That's about 30 pounds. So that might lower the RAS to I think 30 pounds will sink it permanently and then it, it will be subject to yeah and then it's just going to wander like yeah. that bead bag's just going to slide around because yeah. it's yeah. only uh -huh. just going to be tickling yeah do we have more than one bead bag down here There's a whole pile of them all ready to recover back at the IP. They're all strung together on a uh, lift strap. Okay. So 
Okay. Let's go. Yeah, I think we need to sort this out. So let's go have a look at those bead bags and we'll see what we can do with the beaner. See if we can grab two of them and or three of them maybe. And if you can fly with three of them, then we can sink the RAS. Uh, we can see about hooking them into the pair link maybe so that we sink it only that distance, only this distance here, which keeps it high enough that it's out of trouble. Do you think you would be able to fly a beaner into this pair link? Yeah, I would have to fly up, grab onto it, and then clip in. I, I wouldn't try and fly it in hook. Right yeah, we gotta, so we got to get the carabiner out for that? Yeah. Yep. Grab onto the shackle. That's what you would grab onto? Yeah, grab onto something there just so we can hook it in. Yeah. Okay, if we go back to the IP to look at... Uh, we might be able, we can we might be able to if we're gonna do that we might that beaner might be short enough to shorten the blue rope we beaner in yeah the pro yeah the problem is pulling down and then letting go could cause a mess that's what you were getting at yeah but true if, true yeah but if yeah, we just yeah. do the no, beat right, and right. let go yeah it'll we'll just take it down. We did get confirmation that if we put this back in the same place, we don't have to redo the gas tight. Okay. We just have to remember where it is, which I think is pretty clear. Yeah, it has a little nubbin. Yeah. <laughs> nubbin marker. Yeah, it's between the bacterial mat and the edge. Can't really do much. So those are our two options to work with here. Um, I kind of like the bead bag idea better. Yeah, me too. Uh, trying to fly that thing down and hook it in would be yeah i think that's going to be quite challenging whereas if the bead bags are on the porch pre-hooked onto the carabiner then it's just one mid-water connection yeah so if we go back to the ip to look at the bead bags we can also use that area to take a look through our bio box and get our get the carabiner out okay yeah let's do that okay i'm facing west the ip is back all along this way, right? It's um, here, but the tool basket is just, yeah, if you go back to the IP, we can find it. The tool basket's gone? Yeah, but it was by, If you, you can see them from the IP. Yeah, do you want me to start the ship moving? Yes, please. All right. Bridge nav. Uh, Dan, there was the bags that were on that. Good morning. Water. You ready to get going? What's All that? right, can we go uh, 40 meters, 230, please? Thanks. I was saying the bag that we brought over on the seismometer, there was one that tore, but there was one that didn't. It was sitting on the ground next to the toolbox. Yeah, there's a, we're going to need more than... We might have to do a couple trips, too, so... Okay, yeah. so there's there's a cluster of bead bags and then there's two bead bags. What's that? Um, there's a cluster of bead bags we can pick up and there's What's two that? bead bags. Yeah, yeah, good to go. So we can check I out can the cluster. I'm putting here. us between both of them so you can uh, decide which ones you want. Yeah, if we can if we can fly with three, three is good because the heavier it is, the more secure it'll be. So maybe the cluster is preferred. We'll be handing off this mess to next watch soon. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? Oh god. No kid at the bean bags till shift change. <laughs> <laughs>
just let me fly until then. <laughs> I'll wander around until... <laughs> We'll root around in the bio box for a while. <laughs> Take yeah. all that, just throw everything out on the seabed. Here you go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we, might, we might have to make a pile of beacons. I don't think we'll have much luck navigating through it. Uh, we'll get the beaner out of there. What's that? What is that? That's the weight. Oh, those are the oh. weights. Yeah. That looks like a pretty short leash on that weight. Yeah, that's the one that you said had the long rope on it, Dan? Uh, I wasn't sure, but yeah, that's the one that had a rope on it. Well, let's have a look, because that could be that could be exactly what we need if it's got a short. Come rope down a few it. meters, and I can reach it. Right it. There's a shackle here too. We we'll put the shackle in. When we, we did that on, when did we do that on some? Uh, one of those damn. Yeah, I did like getting that shackle fell in one of those holes. Is, is there a carabiner on the other side? Do you want me to hold the side? ship here? Yeah, you can stop her up there. Thanks. Uh, it looks All like right. the right Bridge light. nav. Can How we much hold weight position? is that though? <laughs> Thanks. That's uh, for 90 and 50. Looks which like. is it, which in water is uh, what water. like. 75? No, that's like 140 in air, so it'll be like 110. Whew, that is... Unless those too are heavy, smaller plates than... Unless those are 225s and 210s. One way to find out. Yeah, that's pick only, it up. That's only 70 in air and 62 in water. Probably get a little closer, but I can get it and put it on the porch and see what happens. Shackle around here somewhere. Yeah, it fell in a crevice. Could always unshackle it, take two of the weights off, and reshackle. Now that's a challenge. I think those are 25s and 10s. Uh, it's so hard to gauge their size. Can you? AJ, oh, it's 140 in air. OK. It's 140 in air, so it is 245s and 225s. So you're not going to have much luck with that, are you? I don't know. I don't know. Is there a carabiner on the bottom side? Yeah, there yeah. is. Did we get a sense of how long that rope was? No. Ten feet? Uh, ten feet's probably not going to help us all that much. I think it's sh shorter than ten feet. Oh, uh, they they rigged it on the... No, it's bundled up. Oh. Uh, okay, let's go after the bead bags. Because the last thing we need is to swing this in there and then have it only drop the rass like one foot. It's not going to help us. Or we could always put this rope in there. We don't... With our beaner. How long's the beaner? About a meter. Hook the chain and... Uh, We're probably back at 10 feet then. Oh, uh, that, that rope's like, you know... Yeah, you hook the beaner to the... What, that's like a meter? To yeah. the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Hook the beaner to the, to the bottom. To the, to the thimble. The thimble. I could hook the beaner into the chain. That uh, too? Can we take off with this thing on now? I don't know. That's the question. Yeah, I think I think bead bags are more appropriately sized. They wanted to move this anyway, so. We can, uh, go, see put it, we can go see if we can put it at the IP so that we know where it is. Or by the bean bags. Let's or try it. Bead bags. Yeah, try it. Visibility disruptor. Probably can't go anywhere. <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh, you guys are always telling us you can't move heavy instruments. Well, I mean, this is full force. That's 100% <laughs> <higher, that's higher laughs> up, so it's like completely wrecking the vis. Yeah, I'm, gonna, if I'm, I'm not even going to clear this rock, I don't think. 
<laughs> oh, you did it. I think there's that Alvin rate we dropped. <laughs> there's Hunter Fulton here. I'll give you a little tether assist. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to clear this one, I'll tell you that. No. <laughs> to lateral to the left or something. I'll give you a little Atalanta assist. Which is now a hovercraft. If you don't use any laterals, you'll get Can full jam Can we make up. a 10 meter move nope. to... Oh, 230, sorry. Yeah, that <laughs> Thanks, yep, <Yeah>, perfect. <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm just... Pulled you up a little bit there. Okay, I'll give you some slack again. Now you got altitude. See the beanbag pile up there? That's our destination. Yep. The cinch strap uh, beanbag pile. That pile raised more than the uh, weights. <laughs> Slowly kiting down. <laughs> Full jam up. Yes. You're definitely hanging on the tether. <clears throat> Look at that pitch, eight degrees. <laughs> uh, all right, where do the weights want to go? Anywhere? Okay, yeah, I'm slowly coming down. You can slowly come down there. Yeah. We'll land them right next to the bean bags. Yeah. I'll exactly. try to slowly come down. Took a book out of I took a page out of Luke High's book. Picking heavy things up at the tether. Okay, you should have slack. Fly forward and land them right next to see in your uh, bubble camp. Yep. Yeah, bean bag target. So we cheated there, AJ. I used Atlanta to yep. lift her. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Okay, coming down. Crash landing. Crash landing. Could just drop them. Yeah, I'll just drop them here. Ready? Ready. I'm going to hit first. Okay, letting go. The weights are now deposited by the beanbag pile. Okay, <laughs> let's look. We'll wait half an hour for visibility. So <laughs> we wrecked it for days behind us, I guarantee it. <laughs> Luckily, it's pretty rocky here. So we can remove this strap to free three of these. Roger. If uh, I think the bean bags are like 25, 30 pounds in water, so we might only get away with two. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Unless we pile some gas tights and beacons here. Yeah, I just added a uh, and weights to the cluster of bead bags marker. <laughs> Drop another album plate or something. Uh, if you can hold the ship here if you haven't yet, Megan. Yeah, ship is stopped. Roger. No problem. Before we mess around, do we want to confirm that we have access to the carabiner? Sure. I'd hate to ruin the work of this, uh, whoever. We spent a lot of time looping all those. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like that would have been that, a challenge. We had it. There was, was like a sword on it. I think that was pelagic. Oh. Uh, I mean, there's two... Be, uh, just singular bead bag? bags over by where the toolbox was, which is it's just full, behind us. It's a full junk drawer right there. It's a pretty full junk drawer. <laughs> yeah. I have one of those in my kitchen. I'm gonna Don't we all? Ruin Don't everything all. here and hit the sample sample. Yeah, it's 140. It collects pounds. all the, the bonus hardware that oh, comes that's with everything really you get. Stupid. That doesn't. <laughs> It's all out of whack. I don't know what happened to the sample salvo, but it doesn't do doesn't what it do used to. Darn thing. 
right? Uh, uh, kind of. It would like went black and then came back and it just did that. Oh. button. Do we know that uh, Beano's didn't get put on the toolbox for some reason? I don't know why it would be. I don't know why they're not hooked on the side of the box anymore. I don't know why it's not hooked on the side of the box. You could look in the toolbox, I guess. I didn't see it in there when we were rooting around. No, I meant used on Pre the uh, actual toolbox that just ran up to the surface. Oh yeah. We didn't u uh we didn't use it on our shift, so unless you guys did with Derek. Wait, what are you um, looking for? There was a beaner on here when we dove. Oh. Have carabiners on a small lanyard. It could have gotten bumped off by the beacons. There are three of them in there. Start picking them out of there and set them on the ground. Yeah, yeah, I mean, your watch is almost over, so why not? <laughs> <laughs> that might be your only uh, option if you don't <laughs> stick a manipulator through a sonar, be sonar dying head. Speaking from previous experience. Is that a carabiner? Oh, that looks like a harvested connector. It is a yes. harvested connector. This box is meant to get stuff, put stuff in, not take stuff out. It's done a pretty good job. Not much of a bio box on this job. No, this is a utility box. <laughs> <laughs> a toy it'll, box. It'll never be the same. <laughs> you see the beaner. Oh, yeah. Yep. Unless that's the one attached to a beacon. I don't think we have any that were attached by via carabiner. That's good to know. Do, do, do. There's one attached by a carabiner on the ground near the IP. Uh, not anymore. Uh, yeah, it should still be there. It ran on the sediment trap. Oh, that's right. You guys already sent the sediment trap. We just have to go move the new one. Yep, you're right. Ah, oh, freeze fail. What else are you going to drag out of here? <laughs> <laughs> Go on fishing. I'll wind up with this thing in their freaking thrusters. <laughs> oh, that looks great. Let's do this. Those are good ones. Um, okay, you think you can only fly with two bead bags? I don't know. Let me uh, hold on, Jake, before you close that. It's not going to close. Oh, yeah. Two bead bags is 60 pounds. <sighs> yeah, three bead bags will probably be in a similar situation that we were just in. Yeah, uh, right. two bead. There are two bead bags behind you, so yeah. you don't have to like undo yeah, all of these. Yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. If it's only going to be two, then we should just go get those. Um, 
three would put us at 90 pounds in water, which is a bit different from 120, but we have a much further way to go. Um, yeah, okay, let's go get two. So let, maybe we'll go find the ones behind us. Yeah, you can take off, Jake. Okay. T-Boss is trying to jump out of the toolbox. I wonder if there's any junk we can leave behind clipped to this thing that we're flying around with. A few parking positions, <laughs> old Jake connector. Other way. other way? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said turn around. Yeah, well, you were facing. You only turned a quarter of the way around. Are you sure? Yeah, so go towards the toolbox down here. That's like. Left of where I was. There's one right above the lasers. <sighs> There's the octopus. Oh, Is yeah. that the same one? That's the one. That's the one that we were looking at when you were doing laundry. Are they still there? <laughs> How cute. Is that a carabiner attached to this one? Hard to say. Let's take a look at the uh, octopus one, Dan. Yeah, we checked out that octopus yeah. for quite a while. That's Dan's octopus. <laughs> Did you name your octopus, Dan? No. Nope. You should name it. It looks pretty big. It was big. I got and some my spectacular footage of it. I would have missed it too. Um, who spotted it? Well, I got, oh, Ed spotted it. I don't know. I wasn't even up here. Oh, it is a beaner. Oh, look. It's already. It's already beaned. It's already, it's already beaned up. Yeah, you just. It looks like a really long cord, though. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Just hook it up higher. Yeah, I don't know if I trust that old amp steel <laughs> to stay in that tie wrap. Um, was there another one around here? Uh, the map says there's two, so there might be another one in this general vicinity. Unless it was previously harvested. Um, I've got on my map, there's one to the northeast of VIP. Okay, I'm gonna put the bean bag on the other beaners here. Where is Okay. I'll just hold on to this mess. Um, direction? Uh, where are we relative to the IP? This way. Mm -hmm. Uh, the IP where, where is... Where the toolbox was. Uh, back. So it's to about 30 meters at, uh, 305. Okay. Let's go... That's right. Let's go straight north. Okay. I've got two bead bags marked north of the cluster. The great bean bag hunters. All this to prevent undoing someone's work, tying all those bead bags up. Nope. 
All right, Lots I'm... of crabs. Yeah, I don't know that these bead bags exist anymore. Do, do, do. Let's have a little look around. No. Okay, let's not go too far. We'll go back to the cluster and we'll take one off because I don't think we need to go bead bag hunting. Oh. Good morning. Okay, that's Dan signing off. Thank <laughs> you, everyone. All right. All right, where's the uh, cluster? I'll just drive back to it. And then yeah, uh, we just hand, hand over. Yeah. Morning. Nope. Not even close. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are they? <laughs> what are we doing? So we need to take a bead bag off of this <laughs> bead bag bundle. One bead bag off. Yeah. I don't know, did we? Yeah. Yeah, we've we just literally dropped just dropped one here. Oh, the one that's on your porch? The yeah. one the walls on the porch? Yeah. Dan moved it off because you said you didn't like the carabiner on it. Oh, okay. It looks and so like since you're undoing that one anyway, I think you figure you could just grab two off of that. Yeah, it would have worked except it looks like now the amp steel's completely come loose, so it's not gonna work anymore. So we don't want this bead bag. We do not want this one the one that was just dropped. We want two that don't have loose amp steel line floating from them. Two that don't have loose amp steel. So, yeah, we'll just see how this strap is wrapped around. We'll take a look and we'll see if we can take two bead bags off of it without pulling the entire strap off. Looks like it's choked. Start 
Stand by. Yeah. Okay, can I get some camera centered up on that bag? Yeah. Pile, please. I'm starting to think maybe I should have woke up earlier. <laughs> Okay, AJ, I'm not exactly sure. Am I grabbing the yellow strap to get out of there first? What yeah, I think it's choked. So I think what you need to do is grab. Can, can we look at it in bubble? Yeah. I can maybe explain That's this better. A wonderful idea. Oh, the double beaner is also on the ground. <laughs> That's yeah, fun. It's in the perfect place. Um, it looks to me from the still cam that it's choked. So there's like, it's around back and then it comes like that in a loop. Uh, so in order to get two of these off, we have to clear the yellow cable. So I think, or the yellow straps, I think grabbing it right there. Okay. Will allow us to and choke the strap. Video, a little zoom, please. That's good, thank you. So you only want the one, this, this center one? Yeah. Let's see what happens if we try to pull on that. Okay, I'm gonna pull on this, yeah. sir, Dave. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I gotta give you a lot more time. And then, when okay. you get a chance, can you set it up for the video, or you gotta hold that? Thank you. Mm. Like out of that loop there on the right. I don't AJ? know what. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Well, it's sliding out of the. See the loop on the. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I gotta let it go and re grab nearer to the. Yeah. Like Keep right trying. Down here. Yeah. yeah. Give me a sec. I'm just gonna set this up from whatever way he's left it. I'm getting out of there. Come wide, please. No, you're fine. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Da, da, da. You're happy, Dave. Yeah, go for it. You can zoom back in if you want. Lovely. Did I grab part of the? Nope. Come on. Is that not sliding out of there? I, no. Am I looking at this wrong? I think it's, it's, I think that's right. I think it's just really tight. Okay. Um, it was probably deployed like this. Can you set it up a little for me, Dave? And we haven't used one of these yet. It's through. pulling hard, too. Do I have a... What's going on here? I think it's just that the... Like, maybe we can loosen this up by pulling the strap where the label is out to kind of open up the hole a bit. Is there anywhere else we can... S I guess that it's all rocks. All rocks zoom everywhere. Out. Let's we, have a look around. It's also possible that if we just grab this and pull... Right then the whole choke will come free. I think yeah. trying to preserve the choke is a, is a fool's errand as well. I'm looking in this camera, yeah. Dave, and oh, I'm not seeing much. Oh, that's the case. Much. We have a knife in the toolbox. Everywhere. Yeah. It's going to take us a while to get through that strap. And we're probably light again or something. All right, I'm going to... I'm just going to reach out and grab where AJ said. All right. right. Here. Yeah, I'll take that zoom again, please. Sorry, what did you say there, Pete? Can you zoom in, please, Pete? Thank you, sir. <laughs> Bollocks. Hey, good word. Like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. Can I get a pull? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> All right, that's not. It's just moving the vehicle. It's solid, man. Yeah. I think we need to try and find a better way to sit. Yeah, and also maybe a better view of that strap because I, yeah. I still can't tell what's going on with it. If it's just choked, why isn't it? Should right, be just come full wide, Pete, please. Can yeah, get I'm these bloody lasers off. Yeah. I bet that black strap is what's holding it together. Uh, yeah, we're getting wrapped up in that string too. Yeah. Which basically means we need to be over here somewhere. Oh man. Yeah, I'm kind of want to come in and sit right on the edge of the bags here. I need to be sort of wary of what's going on there because that could suck that up into the thruster. Somewhere here, maybe. And then I can rack the camera out and we can get a good look. Camera is racked out. Arms, AJ. Yeah. Hydraulics going on. Yeah. So we're still. That's still the goal is to get these uh, free, right? Yeah. Let's get a B. We need two B bags. Okay. I think this is stuck. So I'm gonna grab it. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Stuck it. I think the porch is all the way out too. It's just choked. It's just yep. tight because it was deployed. I just got to pull it the right way. And yeah, the bead bag handles aren't really allowing the one strap to loosen. That's the one. Yeah, very nice. Chop, chop, dig, dig, chop, chop. It's the stupid <laughs> song we used to play when we would dig holes. <laughs> Who made you just endlessly dig holes? Uh, it wasn't endless, but sometimes when you're when you're digging caissons, it could take a long time. Uh, it's caught on something. Stand by. It's the tape that's caught yeah, on the label. I'm just gonna grab it here. And event yeah like steve's had some maps in the past i know he's emailed me like old ones but they're buried in my email probably from two years ago Now 
Now you want me to undo a couple of bead bags. Yeah. Um, I mean, my preference would be not those ones. So while I got to take this strap, oh, I see. I can pull it from this side? Yeah. And the only reason for that is that if we ever did want to pick these back up on the strap, it's easier to leave most of them still on the strap and clip the strap back together. That makes a lot of more sense to come from this side. Can you zoom, please, video? <coughs> so the first one looks like it's completely yeah. empty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the first one. Mm -hmm. It's a sad, <laughs> sad it's, bead bag. Yeah, it's no longer a bead bag. Come on. You can go after the duct tape as well. I guess I was, I was thinking it might not come off that easy. Yeah, that's true. That's a great question. I'll ask whoever deploys. <laughs> you should really fill all of them. <laughs> nope. So this one on the porch? No. What are we doing with it? Uh, the two of them, we're going to bring them with us on the porch. Okay. Yeah. Roger, come on, please, video. taking that gas but anyways we still don't want to trigger it do we uh we are yeah we are gonna go take it okay stand by i'm just gonna re do you want me to move out to you no. with the drawer no, no. <laughs> i don't know if this is gonna work or if i should just leave it alone Well, I just won't touch that. <laughs> <laughs> Extra careful mode engaged. I just wanted to make it more difficult. A little zoom, please. That's good. Thank you. Come wide, please, video. Thank you. Stay away from the gas tank. Yeah. AJ? Yeah, those look good. So there's a carabiner on the ground here that we do not want to leave without. This one on the bottom right? Uh, I, th I think yeah. I think so. It's one of those. The purple? Purple? Yeah. Yeah. Roger. It should be two carabiners connected with a short rope. And what we can actually do here while we're stationary is we can get both bead bags through one side of the carabiner. I see. We're going to clip we're gonna these bead clip. bags to something. Yeah, that's right. And it's mid-water column, so you guys will have a lot of fun. Just what we need to wake up to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dan awesome. saved it for I you. I thought, I was like, they're going to come in real sluggish, <laughs> so I'll give them this really sensitive mid-water column task to do. That'll wake them up. It's all right. What goes around comes around. <laughs> what yeah, have I, I got don't know how that happened. That, did, that was not like that. I think until it, Dan ejected it off the porch. Oy, oy, oy. Okay. What's going on here? Stand by. I, I gotta figure this out. Maybe um, you have already, but I don't. Zoom in a bit. Not uh, stand by. All right, there we go. Tilt up. 
please. I've just got the I've just got the tail in my arm. That's all. Yeah, yeah that's a different yeah. that's a different feedback, bag, them. different carabiner. Like, oh, we don't so, like this carabiner. No, no, no. The one you have is good. Uh huh. If you're talking about this. No, no, I'm not. About I'm talking it. about the one in my hand. I just wanted to see what I got. The one in your hand's fine. It just looks like the rope has almost come through the gate, which would be which could be a problem. It hasn't though. It looks like it hasn't quite. So I think we're okay. Okay. Um, so what we would like to do is dealer's choice which carabiner you want, but both bead bags have to go through one of these. Clip into both of these with one hook. Correct. Roger. Um, can I come wide, please, video? And tilt down, please, Steve. Yep. I'm going to have to put this down and re-grab. Oh, this isn't... This isn't the one we just had in our hands? Huh. I think it fell off. Um, am I going to be able to reach this if I put it down here? I feel like I've seen this combination of carabiners before, but I could be wrong. Um, in which case, maybe over here. I don't wanna, Somewhere I don't in the middle reach. there? Yeah. On all the pumpkins? Yeah. You come right, please. Just center up on that. I was just going to put it here. Is that no good? And can you rack up? Uh, yeah, read my mind. We are becoming a team. Uh oh. What did I do? Video, can I get a zoom, please? Thank you. <laughs> Do we need to get that piece of rope out of the gate? I don't know. I was just going to pick it up. I don't think there will be enough force to open that gate and get it in. Um, and if I... Uh, I don't know. Let's just pick this up and see what happens. It's not the end of the world if it goes in the gate. It'll just be a little tiny bit shorter. Yeah, that'll be fine, guys. Okay. Behave. Oh, bloody hell. Oh. Now I got the bead bag. That's great. That's why you don't put things down on bead bags. There we go. There you go. Yeah. Really, we need to get that out of there. How the heck am I going to get it out with one arm? We've got two, don't we? Oh, my. You're yeah. right. <laughs> if it is in the gate, it's not the end of the world. It'll just wrap tight when we use it. it just yeah, exactly. Our, just a tiny opinion. bit shorter. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's all I, right. I overreacted. Yeah. All right. Nice. We're on the same page. Just having one of those days. <laughs> uh, come... Super duper wide, please, video. So, are these bead bags heavy enough to open gates? The, I don't think those will be. The we just trigger that gas tight? Yeah, or hook the beaner into it. <laughs> Should be the, actually the worst thing. Don't call <coughs> it a beaner. Okay, so, how are we gonna do that? that's not going to open the gate. <sighs> We're going to have to, I'm going to have to pass the bead arm. bags into the other arm's jaw. No, I'm going to pass this into the Put other the arm's jaw. Put the carabiner into the other arm. And then hook the bead bags Hook the onto bead it. bags onto it. All right, well, why don't I just. While they're sitting on the porch. Why don't I just give you this one? That's floating here. Can I come no left hotel. and tilt up, please? Yeah, one sec. Oh, okay. Okay, great. All very helpful. Stop, stop, stop. Yep. Stop! 
It's like uh, Austin Powers. Okay. Uh, Stand by. Do you want me to roll Stand it? Stand by. Close it. Close it. Yeah. I close it. I close it. Ooh. That'll do. Okay, now I'm going to get this rope off of there. Really? Yeah. You got it. Nice. I'm going to drop this. Yep. Do you want me to come a bit closer to you? I think just rotate your wrist down a little would be uh, preferable, please, Dave. Somewhere there? Yeah. All right. <coughs> Somewhere out there. Come on, AJ. <laughs> it's a great song. It's going to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> what was the sister's name? Dude, I don't remember. <laughs> I wish I did. Fight Valletta? <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> you want some zoom on that? I want... Yeah, I you, do. Uh, I don't know what I want, to be honest. They checked the view lens. What is yeah. going on here? They're coming back in before I, I rip mean, the it, speed bag it's open. It's apparently set on the correct view lens. I don't know what more. <sighs> um... You want, think maybe you want me to go up a touch? I th I was thinking... Um, or rotate, rotate further all, in. Yeah, just keep rotating. Go on, that's it. Let's try that. And uh, I'll take a bit of zoom, please, video. Um, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. <laughs> Remember to blink. I suppose it's a bit better than reminding yourself to breathe. Slightly. Uno. Nice work, mate. All right, come wide, please, video. Uh, stand by. Do you want me to swing that arm in a bit to you? Uh, I, let's see what happens first here, Dave. All right. I'm afraid if you swing it in, that hook is just going to go under the temp probe. Huh? I guess you could swing in and, and, well, if you swing the arm right, the hook's going to rotate it right under the temp probe. We can, but can you we? can wrist wrist left, I guess, as as well. Yeah. But anyways, let's just. You want to see what you got first? Yeah. All right. Uh, let me give you a bit of bubble. Sure. Give me a bit of bubble. I'm trying. Yeah. Oh. I know Man. <laughs> right. Here we go. Wander. Wander yonder. It's kind of crap. That. I don't love it. Does this need a schmear? What's going on here? Oh, it does. Stand by. 
wonder if I could just smear it against this. Yeah. Uh, that's what I want. Video, can you get some zoom, please? Thank you. Yep. Nice. Okay. Nice. Now, excellent. AJ. Are those both on the porch still? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. But um, how are we clipping this on to whatever we're clipping on to? Literally just carabiner on to the, the cable? It's going to go on to a pair link. Okay, that's available? Yep. So if I pick up the hook end of the other end, the hook, yep. then it should Set be ourselves up. setting up. For it, so the pair, yeah, you guys are going to love this. Oh, it's floppy <laughs> mid-water. It's mid-water on what's a pretty loose mooring. So... We might, there's like a pair link and a shackle, and we might need to provide some stability with the magnum. So we're going to have to fly the magnum onto the pair ring that's floating mid-water, grab it, then hold on while we hook on with the... On well, something that's all rather floppy sense. anyway. It might make more sense to put the hook into the magnum, or and then I you can use the craft to sort of grab pass the, the, grab the pair, pair ring. and put it on the... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... If we let go of the hook we got, I'll put the other hook in the magnum. Yep. Yeah. Sounds good. Can you grab that before I drop this one in it? I sure can. Uh, how about a bubble? How about a... Relax with the bubbles. Bubbles. Do you want me to come up on uh, the wrist? Do I don't want to lift those bead bags off at all. I like the where they're sitting. Um, I can get this. I see it. Uh, video a little zoom, please. Do you want yeah, to put the, the, um, I got it. the little dangly bit from mm -hmm. the uh, gas tight away? No. Uh, or you just want to let it fly in your face as you leave? I would like to pretend it doesn't exist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just, uh, just being a good human here. Uh, I, I don't have that moral problem. <laughs> I can clean it up after I pass this to... Uh, okay, so I gotta put this in your wrist, so I wanna grab it by the standby. Yeah, maybe come out a little. Yeah, can you zoom wide, come wide a bit, please? That's good. Just gonna put this back down on top. Grab the top. Maybe I'll put it on this. Yeah, bead on top bag. of the bead bag there. Okay. Mate. Okay, I'm frozen. So we want to put that one into the, in yeah. the mango, right? Yeah, right. in a position set up for success. So I think I'm going to face the hook uh, upwards so we okay. can use gravity. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. How's yeah. that? Anyways, you can drop that, yes. <laughs> I'm going to bonk that out, or are you going to... You might have to just give it a. Can you wrist left? A uh, no, wrist whole, left. Actually, whole wrist. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely.
What way around do you want this? Uh, keep going a little bit more on that yeah. wrist full left. A little more, a little more, a little more, a little more, a more. Okay, uh, stand by. Let's see if I can get set up here. <coughs> we can always roll it around where we want it after that. Yeah. That's as much pitch as I got, so I guess this is how it's going in. Okay. Yeah. Got Letting it. go. Before oh, I would, oh, that's locked. That's okay. Minute. I would like to. I can relax that if you um, want to give it a twist. Well, I don't think you need to. I'm sure I'll be able to twist it with you locked on. Stand by. Let me figure my life out. Want to come wide? Look at the arm. Uh, I can. I got it in booble. Uh, this one, that's the one I want. A little more. Hold on a second, let me get this straightened out. This gotta go down. And this gotta come up. That'll be enough, Dave. Um, Should I, I do a little maybe. touch more? Maybe we've got a bit of we've got quite a lot of rotate as well there, so a little bit more ain't gonna hurt. No, it's not, is it? But I think you're trying. Are you trying to rotate on a flat? That's edge all I want. There? That's that's there it. There we go. That's uh, what I was looking for. Um, okay, let's pick up our um, thing so that we're good humans, like Megan. Uh, can you come full wide, please, Pete? Roger. What is it Cheers. we're picking up? Just the the thing that I. Dropped on the, where did I drop it? On the porch? Yeah, it's right on Just the there, porch. Let's see it. Oh, the gas tight lock. Yeah, that can go in the toolbox. Roger. I was just getting ready to take the gas tight just a little early. Yeah, that's fine. Top Better You're just getting excited. Better early than late. <laughs> Not too far out there, Dave, because we got the bee bags. Yeah. But I'm ready for you. There you go. Uh, can you tilt up, please? Yep, coming up. Oh. It must be. Yeah, you're over. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right, like, do anything it's in with there. that, or are you gonna just close? I'll just close. Yeah. See what happens. Nice. There That'll do. Oh, perfect. Nice move. The open close. So uh, silky. Love that. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna head back to our RAS PPS uh, with these on the porch. How far away is that? Um, it is 35 meters away from where we are currently. Okay, do we need to be moving the ship? Yes, we do. Okay. 
I'll, I'll get that going. This thing is a tall mooring thing? Yep. Yeah. So we need to be careful what, about which way we're... Where are we approaching from? What sort of height do we got to be at? Um, so it'll be easier to see on my screen. Oh, no. Megan broke it. I broke it. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Video. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I just tried to turn the screen so... Probably just a loose connector on the back. Yeah. yeah. Or did Easy, you hit careful. the power button? Or the power button, yeah. Uh, power button's go, not working. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to be helpful. Well, All right, you know what? You, I could do this. To. Oh, we got Pete involved. <laughs> It's right here. I already pushed it. So I think I think one of the connectors on the back. Oh. Do we want to try and set that arm, this arm up a little better? Um, Mango? Yes. Before we get in the air? Yeah, I'm kind of thinking of just kind of out as far as we yeah, can. Yeah, we're seated, all right? I was going to be against this thing. Yeah. So as far as we can out, I guess. Oh, you want to oh, do it now? It came back yeah. on. Let's go. We set it's so it slow. Cool. Yeah. Right. As much I of won't it touch it anywhere. anywhere. Oh, yeah, but it is attached <laughs> to the bag, so Thank we you, can't Pete. be pulling off the All porch. Right. Yeah. So I'll do my best. Okay, so how we came around was we, we were going at about 0, 4, 5, and then you have to kind of come around this corner and get in there. Does that make sense? So we're just kind of coming around up in here. On oh, then. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's on the side of a hydrothermal vent. So Atalanta will be positioned kind of to the east of it, I guess. So you're, you'll be able to access it kind of from the side that you're able to access it, the non-hydrothermal vent side. Okay. So I guess better to stay on the deck and follow something in then? Yeah, we can follow the cable in. There's also lights on it, so we'll be able to see the lights. Oh, okay. We can also follow our snail trail back there. Uh, snail trail is gone on here. It's on a high pack. I don't know how to get it on. Yeah. Okay. That'll do for now, I guess, Mint. Hey. Roger. Yeah, that's as, that's as good as I can get. I'm sure we'll be able to make that work. See what happens. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, bead bag's coming on. Yeah. Do you want me to get that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good call. Thing is, we're floaty. Floaty, floaty. Coming up. Yep. Tilt down, please. Maybe worth porching out when I come up as well. I agree, and then we can arm out further. Yep. Right, I can probably porch out while I'm sat here. Yeah. Uh, you're going to poke those bead bags, but the other ones, It'll I just mean. push us back. Okay, I'm ready. I don't know if that'll actually get the arm out much more anyway. But I'll, I'll a few inches anyways. Yeah, better than nothing. Yeah. All right. I'm going to just work on the magnum. Let's see. All right. Where do I want to be heading, Megan? Okay. So zero, zero, from four, here... Five? Uh, Zero five zero should be fine. Okay. Wow. We're not floating. <laughs> nope. Those bead bags are heavier than they look.
Oh, I gotta turn the other way. Take this turn. I need to get this turn taken out. Roger. It's all good. You have time. Well, we got 33. Okay. Okay, this thing's way out in front of you, but it's pretty perfect. Okay. Zero five zero ish on the move. Yeah, you can follow these cables. Yep. Because that uh, white and blue blue one is the cable where we're going. So oh, okay. So it's up on that veranda thing. Yep. So you're coming towards Atlanta. So I'm gonna keep it tight, Delta. Yeah, we got a 0.7 of a turn in the 68 at the minute. Roger, that's all right. No, no worries. 2,200 meters, be fine. Atlanta started to move. Cool, thank you. There's a couple of vents just up here somewhere too. Yeah, they're the off left. to your, yeah, off to the left. But this rock is okay. Yeah. Want the down lights off, or are you happy? Yeah, take them off. Ooh. Ooh. Where's everything else? There we go. There. <laughs> Iris. Thank you, Pete. Crossing under Atlanta now. I'm keeping a tight, tight delta. Yeah. I think it's just here, up here, up the slope, right? Yep. On the left. Mm hmm. There it is. Oh, Jeebus, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> what have they done? <laughs> yeah. I don't think you're on, AJ. Thank you. You're um, so there's a bit of a uh, sort of tangle going between the connector and the main anchor weight. Yeah. We're, we're not going to worry about that. The the paralink we want is on the main anchor weight. I'll show you when it comes into view here. It's just coming into view now. There's a shackle, and right above it, there's a paralink. The idea is that we want to sink this RAS PPS mooring down so that this hose that runs from the hat up to the RAS PPS instrument gets more slack in it. <sighs> we need to be around the other side, really, don't we? Where, which paralink are we going for? That one there. Roger. 
The other side so might be better. Also, yeah. there is this taut blue amp steel line that comes from this down off the edge of the cliff below you. I don't know, you might be able to see it in bubble if you turn bubble around. But that's just that's just a hanging weight, which is there to help with directionality. Look at that pair, it's just ready to grab. And there's a camera below you now yeah. that you'd like not to touch. Here and also, it. these microbial mats are pretty sensitive because that's what the camera's looking at. Yeah. The thing is, they're going to get blasted because I'm having to use an awful lot of up thrust. That's yeah, fine. that's that so, is what it is. So, yeah, as long as we don't sit on them. Somewhere here. Yeah, perfect. And which piece do you want to grab? The, the big the, piece in the, the middle. The big piece, yeah. Okay. Whenever um, you're ready. I'm gonna give you a little scope now, so you don't get tugged. In case a roller comes through, just a little. Yeah. And we're gonna need to get. In the extreme calm seas, I don't know how good our Doppler is, but Auto XY might hold amazing, but it's up to you, Dave. We can try it. <clears throat> we'll need to get uh, closer. Yep. Okay, 35 meter delta. Arm coming hot. Get it out here so you can see how far I can kind of reach. I'll do come in a little bit more central. Just salted. Come bring your arm in just a wee bit more central unless you're ready to go grab. Yep. Go for it. Pull it towards me, just slowly. I'm gonna not do that. I'm gonna rotate it. I'm going to lock and freeze and get this thing flat, otherwise it's never gonna go. It's just gonna keep rolling in there. Let's see what the auto head does with that XY. Video a little zoom, please. Thank you. A little zoom on that hat rolling around in the back. <laughs> sort of validates this adventure. Do you, wanna, do you want me to bring that wrist in just a little? Yes, Ooh. just a touch. It's fine, we'll go put it back. Right there somewhere. A little more. Let's try that. Grab this thing on oh, two sides. Oh wow! It's fine. All right. Well, and maybe not. It's just gonna hang down. Yeah. It's all caught up in there. I missed it. Ah, stop. Yeah, we're getting pulled around a lot by yeah. that. Let's Gotta get this thing in a way that it doesn't. If it's easier, I think it's totally fine to just clip it around the amp steel as well because it'll just sit at the shackle, right? Uh, Whatever you like better. It's just not enough. It always wants to... Hmm, rotate this whatever way I go on to here. How am I going to do this? What if we come up with the wrist? Or just like that. The problem is the rope on the bottom hits first. Yeah. And it's spinning in there, so unless I come completely flat, which is impossible, 
because of the way the rope is. There you go. Nearly. Oh, that's okay. That might work. That might be better. Yep. Nice. Letting go. Well done. So. Now it's all in our bumper bar. Yeah. If you can. Um, now what, AJ? So we release. Want, no, we don't. We got to slowly go down with it all, right? Yeah, we want to slowly go down with it all. It should come under tension and bring the mooring down with us, and then we want to place it. I'm going to get that arm as far away from us as we can. I don't care. Um, I need to, where's the camera? It's still right below us, right? Is that all right? Yeah. There, there we you go. go. Cheers. Okay. We would ideally like to place this as far forward as Forwards. we can. Because you saw where the hat was. The hat was up here. That's what we want to try to get this close to. So I know there's a big mess, so don't, you know, just be as cautious as you need to be. But that's the end goal. All of these four lines should sort of be moving with you because they all come from the structure above you. Yeah, they're all going into our bumper bar. That's what they're doing. Right in the bumper bar. Yeah. Listen, we don't like this very much, AJ. We'd really like nope. to get out of here. Well, Four lines into our bumper bar is not going to work for us. Okay, what's the concern? Because they're in our bumper bar. They're going to get tangled in something, and then we're going to be really hooped. Okay, so then... What if, if I grab the hook with the right arm and pull it way away? Push and it I can, away. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's fine. You can drop it if you drop it far forward, I think. Well, I can hold the, the weight of the bead bags in the arm, in this arm. I think we're far enough forward here, aren't we? Yeah, I think so. I'll have to leave you to deal with both yeah, arms, mate. No problem. Freeze one, open the other. Okay, coming live with the seven, taking it out. Yep, go for it. I'm putting it way out here. as far as I got. I think we're far enough forward, so there we go. Uh, retract the porch. Yeah, that's there. I got Gosh. it. Retracting uh, porch. I think you can drop there. It might land on our bars. We can come down slow, maybe. It's up to Dave. Yeah, we can. Okay. Um, somebody keep an eye out on whatever other camera you've got, so I'm not I'm on that camera. I'm going to bubble and put it on preset one. I don't want to turn my okay, head you in you got so a bubble, bubble view now that's really good? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Welcome. I'm ready to let go. Yeah, coming down as slow as I can. If you let go, you should back out of there too because yeah. these lines are going to come down slack. Okay. Okay. All right, let it go there. Letting go. Get out of there. I was talking to me, not you. Yep. We're good. <sighs> well done. I think. Okay. More fun ahead. Good work, guys. Stand by. Give us a breather. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And the camera's still there. Sweet. Okay. Uh, and video's in a watch change, folks. Have a great night. Thank Cheers, you. Pete. Take care, Thanks, Pete. Pete. Thank you. Too many wires. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it doesn't look pretty anymore. See that arm a bit, Dave? Please. Shoulder up. Yeah. 
Is it all the way up? Nope. Oh, there we go. That's why. Yeah. Lovely. Cool. Lovely. All right. All right. I don't think you're going to like this next one. Probably not. So the hat that we pulled off has to go back onto this shelf. Huh. Roger. Okay. I think we got to move Atalanta to which way are we facing? We're facing west. -ish. We're facing west, and I. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Megan and Dave, but I think we'd we'd like it to swing basically right behind us. There's a there's another chimney behind us, isn't there? Is there? Yeah. Is it Dante yeah. or whatever. Okay, yeah, don't, don't put it there. there. <laughs> right but now we're over where where the heck we're facing this way. Oh, it is kind of behind us. Yeah, it's right behind us. Oh. It's just uh, in between these two towers. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, so we just want to go. Yeah, so Dave, you're good to go around to the right. I yeah. assume that's the way we're going. Okay. Uh, that is some piece of kit, that. <laughs> I wonder if we should move it, Tom. The problem just, is if... Just straight north, just like five meters, Megan, so that our tether does not end up against that tall thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Just, yeah, just like... Bridge now. As long as we don't swing right. it to Dante. Our snag here is going to be getting that through. Right, there's not enough space. I don't know. Um, just before you go in there, Dave, let's wait for Atalanta to move. Yeah. Make sure we don't get our tether in there. The, so do you think there's any chance that if you were to land on that side that you could reach this? Maybe. Because Hard. that would allow us to keep it maybe behind, like... Yeah, behind. That's what I'm looking at, keeping it behind those cables. The whole idea was okay, to get Megan, more slack. If we're going to do that, we're going to have to stop the ship. Sorry. All right, Bridge. Uh, can we not do that move, please? <laughs> so just be aware of this <laughs> blue line. They changed their mind. It's not very taut. There's just like a five-pound weight hanging on the cliff, we can try to clear it to the right if we find it's getting in our way. How stable is this on in here on the? Um, we're gonna we have to landed there in. before and it seemed all right. Yeah, okay. So far, it's all seemed quite stable. Okay. And what can we grab on that piece? So there's um, these plastic uh, handles uh, on yep. both sides, or there's the one with the red spiral tape on the top. So there's three grab points for you. Okay. Yeah, but if you just need to get it closer, any handle will do, and we can re-grab. Just give me a little bit of string, mate, please. And two meters will do it, I hope. Yeah. We're going to be sitting in some warm water here, too. Huh? 
Yeah, I just want to try and settle here somewhere, stabilize a little. Okay, precarious, but try it. Yeah. Yeah. Just gonna grab wherever's easiest for now. Yep. Yeah, the blue yell grip is also available. If you need the camera, you're gonna have to do it yourself here. Do I have it? No. Nope. Nope. Just an inch. I need to hurt, Can you uh, push forward, Dave? Or no? Not really. Try and need an stand inch. by. That's about all I can give you right now, mate. Got it. And Bring it's it going towards us. Up on that shelf above us, I think. Yeah, yeah I, I, I would like to regrab it if you're stable enough. Just place it down here and regrab. Yeah, go for it. On the red. Oh, that's me. Yeah. Stop it. So the handle is literally right beside the cable? Yeah. Cool. Nice. Got her. And lock right. jaw and... Go ahead, take the pan and tilt. I think it's going on that shelf just there to our left, right? Roger. It is, yeah. Uh, anyone that likes. I can show you. It's going just on that flat bit right in there, yeah? Arrows. Yeah, where was that? There was, oh yeah, so this, it's going, yeah, to the right. So this is kind of my reference is there's this kind of fluffy bacterial mat. So it's to the right of that on the shelf. This is kind of a funny angle, but yeah, I think right in, in there. In there, yes. That was it? Yeah. Roger. All right, I'll keep you right, AJ. Don't worry. Uh, do you need to see down there again? Seeing's for chumps. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure we got the reach. We don't, do we? I am shouldered. Oh, no, I'm not. Put that in the bumper bar. Now that you have it in hand, there was another sort of spot that we sat on when we placed this.